The long rumored Apple VR slash AR headset is finally official and we have some details about it to share with you as well as some thoughts on how it could affect the world of VR gaming. On Monday, June 6th, Apple CEO Tim Cook took to the stage at WWDC 2023 to announce the Apple Vision Pro. In short, the Vision Pro is a mixed reality headset that supports full VR immersion and is controlled via eye tracking, voice commands, and hand gestures. What immediately sets it apart from other VR sets, and also what makes it instantly meme-worthy, is it has a front-facing screen that can display the wearer's eyes, as well as notify others around them if they are busy watching a movie or using apps or something else. The Vision Pro can also detect when other people are nearby and then seamlessly adjust its display to allow the wearer to see their surroundings. The spec list for the device is massive. Altogether, there are 12 cameras, five sensors, and six microphones there are also built-in speakers that provide spatial audio using audio ray tracing. There are tons of bells and whistles with the way the Vision Pro tracks movement and awareness surroundings. In one demonstration, we see someone take a 3D object out of a messaging app and place it into their physical space. It even takes 3D photos and videos. Internally, the display is packed with millions of pixels and will reportedly provide more than a 4K experience for each individual eye. And for those who wear glasses, Apple has partnered with Zeiss to support custom inserts that snap into the headset magnetically, probably for a hefty price. The Vision Pro runs on Apple's custom operating system called Vision OS, and processing-wise, it utilizes a combination of Apple's M2 chip and an R1 chip, which was made specifically for the Vision Pro to process and play back images more quickly. As for the battery, Vision Pro doesn't have one built in. It's external and lasts about two hours, depending on what applications you run. Alternatively, the headset can be plugged into a Mac for unlimited power consumption. How much does it all cost, you ask? Well, all of this can be yours for the low, low price of $3,500, and it's available sometime next year. So, you know, get your wallet ready, sell your car. It's certainly a stark contrast to high-end headsets already on the market, usually around $1,000, and even more so when you compare it to the newly announced MetaQuest 3, starting at five hundred bucks, which also has full color video pass through. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a lot more fancy tech and neatly packaged software going into Apple's headset, but you have to wonder if people aren't buying that many headsets at a cheaper price from other companies, then what does the future look like for something like an Apple Vision Pro, which is much more expensive and does relatively the same things. That's kind of Apple's deal though, right? They package up technology in a way that makes people want to spend way more money on it than they probably should. It's a pretty big swing for Apple though, considering the VR and AR market space isn't exactly a sure bet. Even in the gaming realm, which has seemed like the primary catalyst for companies to make better and better headsets. Based on the WWDC 2023 presentation, Apple isn't courting gamers with a fancy new headset, but a general wealthy public who work from home or want to have more immersive passive media experiences like watching movies or just experiencing nature. The Vision Pro can be used to scan your face and create photorealistic avatars, but Apple's use case for the avatars, at least for now, seems to focus more on FaceTime or video chat applications than for roaming around in a three-dimensional world or metaverse. Apple has touted Apple Arcade and App Store integration for the device, and Unity, the widely used game engine, is being fully supported, so there will certainly be games, but there wasn't really a showcase or demo for a killer app or game that would make anyone want to spend $3,500. So yeah, the price point is really high, and it's hard to imagine people wanting to purchase a kind of goofy looking headset for work or even for watching movies alone. But it's also hard to deny that Apple is a major tech conglomerate with tons of money that can just will things into existence. iPhone was similarly criticized when it was announced and many even argued it could never be a suitable platform for gaming. One thing though that crucially led to where we are now with phone games is Apple's commitment to building up developer tools and documentation and a community that made it easy to make games and apps. And then of course, there was the evolution of the App Store as a platform to host and distribute those apps. The iPhone's developer and app ecosystems are what generate tons and tons of revenue for Apple. It's not just the hardware, it's all the millions of microtransactions that are happening on a day-to-day -day basis within uh, any given software. So it's logical the company would be aggressively interested in doing something similar for the Vision Pro or basically using the power of the App Store to monetize Vision Pro headsets and just maybe that could be something that standardizes VR development as well as normalized adoption from general consumers around the world. 
eventually when that price point maybe comes down. Or, you know, maybe this is just a wild Google Glass moment. It's hard to say at this point in time. Thanks for watching. For more video game news and updates, stay tuned right here to Inside Gaming.